Good morning, Mid-Missouri. I'm Louis Kazmarek with a look at today's top headlines. Authorities say a one-year-old child is safe after falling out of a moving car last night in Lee Summit. A driver told investigators the child fell from a rear passenger door when the vehicle turned onto a ramp at US 50. Lee Summit police said although the child was still being evaluated late Sunday night, doctors considered the injuries to be minor. Winter is coming to a close and Missouri is putting pothole patching on the fast track. Starting today, MoDOT is launching a statewide program to fill winter potholes as soon as they're reported. District engineer Greg Horn says once a motorist reports a pothole, the agency's goal is to repair it before the driver takes that same route the next day. Drivers can report potholes by calling MoDOT's customer service center, filling out a road concern form, or by emailing the agency. MU is receiving a special belated birthday present today. The Commander-in-Chief of the USS Columbia Nuclear Submarine will meet with MU Chancellor R. Bowen Lofton this morning at 11. He'll present Lofton with the flag flown over the submarine on February 11th to honor MU's 175th birthday. The Today Show will be right back. Kindergarten through 12th grade students at Lake West Christian Academy in Sunrise Beach will pack 10,000 nutritional meals today as part of their Packathon for Hunger. A recent list put out by Yahoo ranked Moberly as the eighth most affordable place to buy a home for a family in the country. This Yahoo survey put Malibu, California as the most expensive place, costing more than $2 million on average. The average price of a four-bed, two-bath home in Moberly is around $99,000. The cheapest place to live, according to the study, is Cleveland, Ohio. This afternoon at 4, sidewalks on South 8th Street and East Broadway in Columbia will reopen. The sidewalks were closed so be seen signs could place holiday lights on buildings. Columbia Parks and Rec is asking for your input on planned improvements at Fairview Park. There will be a drop-in meeting from 5 to 7 tonight at the Ark on West Ash Street. The Fairview Park project includes replacing the existing shelter and adding a playground, parking, and a trail. You are encouraged to come and give input on the plans. Staff will be there to answer any questions. Aspen Heights is going to new heights in making residents angry. At last night's neighborhood meeting, the topic was high utility bills. Residents came to the meeting with direct questions. They say management came with indirect answers. One resident told KOMU the meeting got loud and ended up needing security. Aspen Heights has had more than half a dozen problems in the past year, including crime and burglary. After some calculations, here's a breakdown of where the renewable energy comes from. In 2013, wind turbines produced more than 46%. Close behind, landfills produced about 42%, biomass produced nearly 11%, and solar less than 1%. Good morning, Mid-Missouri. It was quite the night in high school sport. A few stellar performances from key players helped the victorious teams take home their respective titles. We'll start with baseball. Rockbridge and Jefferson City. The Cardinals looking for a second win in their three-game series, and the Royals hoping to avoid a sweep. Let's see how it plays out. Cardinals and D-backs here ready to go. Class 3 quarterfinal action had Hallsville hosting O'Fallon Christian. Let's take it to the game. The Women's College World Series starts tomorrow. And although Missouri's team will not be part of it, the Tigers are in the spotlight. We'll be looking ahead to the last of a four-game series tonight between the Cardinals and Royals. But first, let's talk high school state baseball championships. In the regular season, Northeast Cairo beat New Franklin twice. Last night, New Franklin, Franklin was looking to get revenge on the biggest stage, the Class 1 semis. Let's take it to the game. The Cardinals were not too happy with their performance in the first two games of their four-game series with Kansas City. In case you don't remember, the Royals came off of two straight losses to the Blue Jays before their current series with St. Louis. Now the Royals, who were swept by the worst team in the MLB just over two weeks ago, are now over 500. They came into this beautiful day, winners of their last three. Those Royals are really on a roll. The St. Louis Rams began OTAs today in Earth City. The team is coming off another year in which they did not make the playoffs. The defense is not what the coaching staff is worried about, but they are looking to do some reconstruction to the offense.